hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl is in williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video people of god i am excited yes i am truly truly excited because why am i excited because the house the big brother niger housemates finally for the first time this season won their wager yes and it's under the leadership of Ozo as head of house dora as deputy head of house tricky t as the director yes i'm so so excited at some point i was like hey big brother oh, will people that give them this thing or will he not give them this thing people that have knows how to give somebody high bp i'm telling you if ah if you have not eaten well and you are watching it and people that start all his talk i don't know what's gonna happen to you it's advisable that before you watch big brother give his verdict just go and eat something at least you will not fall because that man i don't even know who he is but he knows how to put somebody on the spot now i mean watching them i could feel the tension imagine if you are inside the house because you don't know if he will praise you he will chastise you you don't even know where you stand with him okay so the housemate a lot happened today though a lot happened today they had their diary sessions but let me just talk about the one that is at the top of my head right now which is that they won their wager i am super happy for them it's almost as if a lot of <laughs> their village people were pursuing them <laughs> back to back they were losing wages so i think others um shouting yesterday was actually justified sort of so yeah so they did their presentation super prince uh, prince uh, prince <laughs> oh goodness gracious you people say isn't it you started again you started crushing on prince why won't i crush on this human being that is full of talent he can't he actually changed his voice he was like <clears throat> let me try to do like he was like you um <laughs> what's that um i know what you <laughs> i know i can't do like him i'm just not in the mood but he was great he was superb dorothy dorothy ah, ah she was she was so good that people that actually had to recognize her and tell her that um um you portrayed the role of the greedy mother so much that even actors would have to copy or something like that even prince big brother gave him a special shout out he did a wonderful job who, who am i going to leave is it tochi that actually changed his voice erica and her very sweet voice or am i going to talk about neo even though at some point i felt neo was overdoing it but he was good oh sure hi eric eric did a great job um kid wire um bright oh they did a great job praise um was in charge of the choreography he did a great job v was in charge of the songs he she did a great job nengi <laughs> she really gave me that um you know what, what i really like what she had like two roles or something no one role but she was like in two scenes the part where neo chose um erica over her and she was like like she just hissed <laughs> and they were like i you know it's so fun and then when prince wanted you know she, he couldn't at the end of the scene when prince could not get um erica and all that and she was like i'm here like you know and the roses are perfectly like she did a great job um oh yeah i love the ending where they were like oh love is patient love is this love is just you know that kind of stuff they did a great job so at the end of the day now people did not even say they did a wonderful job he just said you did a good job and then asked the head of house which is also do you think they did good he said yes where they cooperate say yes he now said does anybody feel like okay that another there would have been a better story or a better storyline they said no so you can see also stood up to defend also and you know congratulate his fellow housemate that they did a great job and people that was like oh that was not like a different opinion but nonetheless thank you and then people that said okay you guys did a great job because the story was supposed to have um i think two musical and one choreographed dance um it has to be relatable also based on the 80s stroke 90s so it was they filled all that it was check 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 they did all that so be better when they're like now will um where your conduct during the past week where it's like 
was it did you guys learn from your previous mistakes obviously they did not so big brother now called tolani badge called um v for called them out for speaking yoruba you know that in as much as you should be proud of your culture of your language but you should also learn that not everybody here understands your language and see here uh, tolani badge in my own opinion she would just they call that she was just doing nonchalance. I'm like, is this one serious? Like, a big brother called you instead of you to stand, like, act, 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 how do I put it? Just act a little bit remorseful. You're just doing as if it's your house. Is it your house? Is your house good for you that you now apply for big brother? What are we talking about? See, at this point, if she goes, I won't miss her. It's, it's just bon voyage, like, bye bye, safe journey. I wouldn't miss her a bit because she's just acting like V said in her diary session. She was she's acting childish and somehow, you know. Um Tochi was also called and he actually felt remorseful, you know, for um speaking Igbo. Um Kaisha was called out, you know. I told you guys, some people said it's a strike. It's not a strike. She did not get a strike. It's actually a last warning for infringement, house infringement, because she did not come out to um for exercise. You know, she was also called out by Big Brother. And she, oh my goodness, her voice was so down. Even me, I said I pity you for her. And who else? Bright O, yes, Bright O was also, also received um um warning and he was fined. So yeah, and Big Brother told them, even if you have to speak your language, you have to interpret immediately, you know, so that you will not be infringing on house rights and all that. But at the end of the day, people of God, they won their wage and now the people that won the flutter waves challenge, whatever um the 50 BB Naira they won, they get a double. Aside the fact that the house also gets their BB wallet double. So it's a win-win for everybody. And they were so excited and I'm excited for them. And I'm still excited for what's going to happen tonight. Yes, people of God. Because in the morning, early in the morning, yes, Ozo shippers wear Aza. All the Ozo and Nengi shippers. Because you're going to like this. Because Ozo actually asked yeah, he kind of asked Nengi out on a date. <laughs> and that's going to be happening after the arena, after the tax presentation, like he said. <laughs> I'm a lover of love. I want to see what is going to happen. Even though mm, I'm not sure of them, oh, I'm not a shipper. I cannot be a shipper. I am shipping nobody. My heart is too fragile. I cannot deal. You understand? I cannot deal. So, But they look so cute when they were talking. They talked about periods yeah they did you know and we got some informations and all that so yeah he asked her to wear something beautiful something you see how you see how i said it not beautiful beautiful <laughs> yes you know and wait shippers hold on kidrika shippers i am still on your case yes because you remember last night i reported that they broke up these people that said they just wanted to be friends. <laughs> oh, take a look at this picture, my people. Take a look at the first and the second picture. Is that how you do with just friends? <laughs> Feeding with mats. Is that how they do with just friends? Oh, these people. <laughs> these people think they're going to be messing with people's emotions. Definitely not my own. <laughs> because I have locked my heart away from shipping anybody. Lie, lie, I ship no more. These Kidrika people think they're going to play with me. <laughs> I laugh in Japanese. No, look at them. See, if you see the way Erica was blushing when she was with Kate Wire, look at them. Even she told Kate Wire to teach her to fight because she wants to be acting in action films. I said, see this one. Oh. Hmm. Anyways, Kate Rika shippers, see your ship and enjoy them. Also, the friendship shippers of Dozo, that is Ozo and um, Dorothy, you guys also had your moment today. Yes, because everybody has been praising Ozo and Dora's leadership in the house. Yes. In the diary session, almost all of them, if not all of them, were praising them. Some even went as far as saying they would want them, if it's possible, to continue being the head of house. Like this, like the best head of house era ever. 
as Erica said, he said Ozo is soft, you know, he's kind, he's tough. But with um Dorothy being his backbone, being the one that is tough, at some point you would even think that Dorothy is like the head of house, that they are a very compactable pair. So those are shippers. Even at some point, look at this picture. This is Dorothy wearing Ozo's glasses. Something funny very happened this morning, people of God. Dorothy is a case. <laughs> This morning, no. Dorothy, I think they made okra soup. I, yeah, I think they made okra soup and they did not pull for her. I think I don't think she eats okra or something. So when she was not asked, I think this one said, ask Prince, Prince, I ask Kidwa or something like that. So she, she that messed up singing this song. Nobody wants me. Everybody hates me. I'm gonna eat cockroach. <laughs> it was so, so funny but at the end of the day i think she made food for she and also if i'm not mistaken it was so funny now let's leave that let's talk about lacon lacon is still going on he's going through it the matters of the heart ain't easy it's not for the fragile hearted people <laughs> lord look what you made me do have you guys seen that program yeah there's a program like that I think on DSTV, love, look what you made me do. Love, look what you make Lekon do. Lekon in his diary session is all about. <laughs> ah, hey, love, love. You know, even Big Brother had to advise Lekon. I think what, what Big Brother said was, after, after all, everybody has a preference. The fact that you may not be someone's preference does not mean another person somewhere doesn't feel the same way about you. That's what Big Brother told Lekon. But did he hear? He still went on to talk about the person he talked about. He, he's attracted to in the heart. And Big Brother was like, I thought we are done with the matters of the heart. Big no, no. Big no, no, Lekon. I thought we are done with the matters of the heart. <laughs> oh, Lord. I love. Moving on, I was touched. Um, with Lucy's diary session, people of God. Um, at some point she started crying. She said she needs to see, I think, um, um, a therapist. Yeah, I think that's it. She needed to see a therapist. I think Big Brother kept saying she could talk to other housemates. She said um, the fact that um, she's actually homeless right now. Yeah, people of God. Okay, there's this unfortunate issue with Lucy. I'm going to give you guys a load down. So, um... Apart from what she said in the diary session, which we will come to. So Lucy's um, Instagram page with the original one she started out with um, when she went into the Big Brother house was, of course, was progressing and progressing. And then we just noticed it was no longer there. Um, actually, what happened was somebody who wanted to be in charge of the page, who wasn't the person Lucy gave the page to, wanted the login details and all that, according to what I heard. But the person who Lucy gave everything to said she's not going to do that until Lucy comes out and she'll hand everything over to Lucy. Now, this other person or this other group of people felt, okay, if they are not going to handle the group, instead of them to like calm down, they decided to be reporting the page. Yes, people of God. They reported and reported and reported Lucy's page on Instagram and the page was taken down. So right now, the last time I checked, I think she was, she is like the least, you know, the housemates with the least number of followers by far, people of God. They opened a new Instagram page and the last time I checked, I think it's 8,000 subscribers now. It's sorry, 8,000 followers or so. It's, 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 it's a far cry from other, um, from other housemates, even, um, from her previous um instagram page which is really really sad there's this high percentage of this probability very high probability that she might be coming home on sunday i'm not saying she's gonna be coming home on sunday but there's this very high probability that she might so i'm just urging you guys this is not paid whatever this is just me um speaking from the heart because i'm an i'm not she might not be my favorite housemate she might not be my favorite housemate, but me, I don't like injustice. I really do not like injustice. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a very emotional person, and I love when, even though, even though I don't like you, but win. You know, everybody wins in life. Everybody is happy. You know, at least even if everybody is not happy, at least like, let everybody be okay. Do you understand? So this is me making a plea for you guys. I'm gonna drop her new Instagram handle. I've never done this before never for any housemate i'm not campaigning for her or anything like that for all i know the voting lines are closed by now so 
you see i'm not even that's why i didn't even talk about it i waited you know till now to talk about it so people of god can you please just help me to go follow her page because i feel what happened to her is quite unfortunate and also adding to the fact of for um to what she said in the diary room um that she's actually homeless right now she's basically like living on the streets and if she comes out like um she might not really have a place to stay she needs to pay her rent which is quite touchy you know this housemates they go into the diary room and you really hear some stuff like um i think the first week or the second week when um, dorothy went to the diary room and actually said that her parents was like if she went to the people that she should not even bother coming home or something like that i don't think i said it here in this channel but yeah that's what she said so it's really really disheartening you know it's kind of touchy you know for me <laughs> i don't know why life can deal you a very terrible blow i'm telling you people of god and it gets it gets it gets real you know so if you can I'm not saying you must though. I'll drop her um, new Instagram handle in the description box. I also put it while I'm editing this video so you guys can go follow her. Thank you in advance. So basically, people of God, a lot has been happening in the house. And yeah, Lucy has been happy ever since they won that um, 2 million era from Dulux Challenge. So yeah, it's been a wonderful um it's been a wonderful ride you know in the house even prince prince and dorothy <laughs> prince was alluded to dorothy what has been happening in the house the whole triangle he's in and dorothy seems to be she doesn't even know she's not privy to all these things because she goes to bed very early so i know a lot is going to be happening tonight so i'm not going to be going to sleep just yet <laughs> and i'm feeling so happy Apart from the fact that they won their wager, I'm just happy tonight. Thank you so much, guys, for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Till I come your way again, I remain your girl, Izzy Williams. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Bye, guys!